Good day, my dear teachers. Nice to see you again here in my webinar. As usual, I have my video lessons for you, my dear teachers. I am Gustava Zuhra. And in my previous lessons, uh, we talked about so many uh, topics, but today we'll talk about an, uh, one also inter important, interesting. Uh, it's uh, how to teach vocabulary, but sometimes uh, teachers can have some confusion about thinking that vocabulary is so challenging and so difficult to learn. And this is exactly for teaching also. But you know, uh, we have some simple ways of learning what? While uh, learning some new words, try to learn or try to remember it spontaneously, not about just learning by heart, but uh, just uh, you can just also make some sentences uh, according to this word or try to remember these words with some situations like you have uh, associated sometimes i have some um, some songs or some music which can be associated with some situation in my past uh, life and in this case i can say oh i know this song and i can remember some situation and with words also the same learning some words you can have your uh, how to say uh, like um, associated uh, situations and it can recall you the translation and it is also a good way uh, as you know that I have I am like um, I prepare always for you my presentations and today we have also presentation so let's see it okay how to teach vocabulary uh, we'll talk about presenting new words, helping students remember new words, making sure students make the new words their own. Okay, step one, presenting. Let's see, first all of them. Uh, presenting, uh, you can use some visual images. You can use gestures and actions, uh, the techniques, words in context guessing, predicting, showing lexical um, relations. So using visual images, like uh, you can use pictures, reality, masking, drawing, scales, and gestures and reaction. Uh, you can use mime, gesture, facial expression, and action. Showing lexical relations, you can use synonyms, uh, antonyms, collocation, prefixes, and suffixes. Words in context, uh, it can be in dialects in while having some role play, drama, story, song, rhymes and poems. So guessing and predicting. Uh, we can see some here example. Okay. So I will explain orally about uh, guessing. Mm, don't say about the translation, uh, just uh, give them like a according to these words some situation or like some definition and in this case they will just try to guess translation okay other techniques what can be uh, for other techniques uh, using dictionary uh, it's a very traditional way explaining describing defining the context and translating step helping students to remember new words how can we help them let's see first uh, you can use memorizing games and activities. Games and activities, they are good way. Uh, learning with friends. They can learn words with their friends using review games. Using memorizing games and activities, giving directions, picture dictation, matching words, labeling words, searching and sequencing, guessing, planning, and classifying. Review games, they can be word search games, picture labeling, crossword, bingo, dominoes, puzzles, chart. So, step three, make sure students make the one word they own. Okay, how can we do a vocabulary record system? It's good, Personal, personalizing the new words. Vocabulary record, what can be for the, this? Vocabulary books and in alphabetical order, by topic or situation, by grammatical groups, by color set, and by story. For, uh like sorry features okay vocabulary record system uh, it can be for marking words stress adding pictures putting tr uh, one's translation and adding synonym mapping uh, word family okay 
my dear teachers, I tried to explain about how can we teach vocabulary and I hope that you could uh, get a little bit of information and I'll be very happy that you can use in your teaching process. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.